this is chapter number 10 which is life in the deserts we are talking about life in the deserts what we have seen in the earlier discussion that water means life to plants animals and people so without water it is very difficult to survive where there is no grass for their cattle to feed on or where there is no water to help the crops to grow so desert it is a arid region characterized by extremely high or low temperatures and has scarce vegetation so we will uh, see about the places and people who cope with extreme harsh and temperatures in some places hot as fire the temperature can be and in some places as cold as ice so these are desert areas of the world characterized by low rainfall scanty vegetation and extreme temperature and depending upon the temperatures there can be hot deserts also and cold deserts also sahara the hot desert this is the sahara desert so this in uh, if you see that it is, it is the world's largest desert world's largest desert an area of around 8.54 million square kilometer do you know or recall that india is 3.2 million square kilometer so you can see that it's more than twice or you can say almost thrice sahara desert touches 11 countries how many countries 11 countries algeria chad egypt libya mali mauritania morocco niger sudan tunisia and western sahara so what do you think about this picture sand when you think about a desert only one thing comes in our mind sand but besides the vast stretches of sand of course the sahara desert is covered with there are also gravel plains like this these are gravel plains and elevated plateaus with bare rocky surfaces these rocky surfaces they may be more than 2500 meter high at some places so this is the region we are talking about this is the sahara desert and these are all the countries we talked about what is the climate before going to the climate you will be surprised to know that present day sahara was once lush green plain the cave paintings in this desert show that there used to be rivers with crocodiles elephants lions giraffes ostrich sheep cattle and goats but because of change in climate the things have changed and now this region is hot and dry the climate of sahara desert is scorching here heat it's very hot and park dry it has very short rainy season and this rainy season is so short that the water scarcity is always there the sky is cloudless and clear the moisture evaporate faster than it would accumulate days are unbelievably hot how the temperatures of the day may go up to 50 degree centigrade heating up the sand and bare rocks and when they absorb heat 
they radiate they radiate this heat making everything around them hot the night may be freezing cold with temperatures nearing 0 degrees al azizia in the sahara desert which is south of tripoli libya recorded the highest temperature of 57.7 degree centigrade in the year 1922 how about the flora and fauna the vegetation in the sahara desert it includes cactus date palms and acacia in some places there are oases green islands with date palms surrounding them camels hyenas jackals foxes scorpions and many varieties of lizards you will find here along with snakes so there are various species of these animals or reptiles scientists have actually find skeletons of fish in this desert that means once there would be a great amount of water here how about people the sahara desert in spite of the harsh climate has been inhabited by various group of people there are beduins and tuaregs these groups are nomadic tribes rearing the livestock uh, like goats sheep camels and horses so these animals provide them with the milk hides from which they make leather for belts slippers water bottles hair is used for mats carpets clothes and blankets they wear heavy robes as protection because uh, you know it this environment is full of storms dust storms and hot winds the oasis in the sahara and the nile valley in egypt supports settled population since water is available the people grow date palms the crops like rice wheat barley and beans are also grown egyptian cotton famous worldwide is grown in egypt so the discovery of oil that is a product in great demand throughout the world in algeria libya egypt is constantly transforming the desert other minerals are also of importance like iron phosphorus manganese and uranium the cultural landscape of sahara is undergoing change gleaming glass cased office buildings tower over mosques and super highways criss cross the ancient camel paths trucks are replacing camels in the salt trade tuaregs this uh, you know we have talked about tuaregs these are different inhabited people or indigenous you can say they are seen acting as guides to foreign tourists more and more nomadic herdsmen are taking uh, to city life finding jobs in oil and gas exploration and operations see the depress- depressions are formed when the wind blows away the sand we are talking about desert so in the depression where underground water reaches the surface an oasis is formed and these areas are fertile people may settle around these water bodies and grow date palms and other crops sometimes the oasis may be abnormally large the tafila let oasis in morocco is a large oasis with an area of about 13000 square kilometer ladakh the cold desert ladakh so ladakh is made up of two words la that means mountain pass and dak that means country so ladakh ladakh is a cold desert lying in the great himalayas on the eastern side of jnk jammu and kashmir this is ladakh on the east side of jammu and kashmir 
the capital is Leh. This is the Ladakh range. This is the Siachen Glacier. The Karakoram range in the north and the Zanskar mountains in the south enclose it. And several rivers flow through Ladakh, Indus being the most important among them. The rivers form deep valleys and gorges. And several glaciers are found in Ladakh, for instance, Gangri Glacier. The altitude in Ladakh varies from about 3000 meter in Kargil to more than 8000 meter in the Karakoram. And due to this high elevation or altitude, the climate is extremely cold and dry. The air is so thin that the heat of the sun can be felt intensely. The day temperatures in summer are just above 0 degree. The night temperatures go below minus 30 degree centigrade. So it is freezing cold in the winters when the temperature may remain below minus 40 degree centigrade for most of the time. So Dras, one of the coldest inhabited place on earth is located in Ladakh. So as it lies in the rain shadow of the Himalayas, there is a little rainfall as low as only 10 cm every year. The area experiences freezing winds and burning hot sunlight. If you sit in the sun with your feet in the shade, you may suffer from both sunstroke and frostbite at the same time. Ladakh is also known as Khapa Chan which means snowland. Flora and fauna in Ladakh, due to high aridity, the vegetation is sparse. There are scanty patches of grasses and shrubs for animals to graze. Groves of willows and poplars are seen. During the summers, fruit trees like apples, apricots and walnuts, they bloom. So several species of birds are sighted in Ladakh like robins, red stars, Tibetan, snowcock, raven, hopoi. These are common. Some of them are migratory birds also. The animals of Ladakh are wild goat, wild sheep, yak and special kinds of dogs. The animals are reared for milk, meat and hides. Yak meal is used for cheese and butter. The hair of the sheep and goat is used to make woolens. What about the people? See, we just talked about uh, the flora and fauna. So, the finest cricket bats are made from the wood of the willow tree. Willow tree cricket bat is made. Now, the people here are mostly Muslims or Buddhist. So, in fact, there are several Buddhist monasteries in the Ladakhi landscape with their traditional gompas. Some famous monasteries are Hemis, Thiksi, She, and Lamayuru. This is Thiksi monastery. So, in the summer season, the people are busy cultivating barley, potatoes, peas, bean and turnip. The climate in winter months is so harsh that people keep themselves engaged in festivities and ceremonies. Women are hardworking. Not only they work in house and fields, but also manage business and shops. Leh, the capital of Ladakh, is well connected both by road and air. The NH1A, National Highway 1A, connects Leh to Kashmir and also through the Zojila Pass. Tourism is major activity with uh, several tourism streaming in from within India and abroad. So visits to Gom Pass 
tracks to see the meadows and glaciers, witnessing ceremonies and festivities are important activities here. Life of people is undergoing change due to modernization. The people of Ladakh have over the centuries learned to live in balance and harmony in nature. Due to scarcity of resources like modern fuel, they are used with reverence and care. Nothing is discarded, nothing is wasted. So Manali Leh Highway. Manali Leh Highway crosses four passes. Rohtangla, Baralachala, Lunglachala and Tanglangla. This is Baralachala. So the highway opens only between July and September when snow is cleared from the road. So this is all about this topic. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.